Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pint Time with Backpacker Mike, and I'm going to be trying this, you guessed it, Kiss Kiss. <laughs> it is called Kiss Kiss. It is a double milk chocolate stout. This ought to be pretty interesting. Comes in at 8% on the Richter scale, and it is brewed and canned by Stillwater uh, Brewing Company out of Grand Mound, Washington. Grand Mound, Washington. It's not focusing. I don't know why. All right. Uh, so I'm going to give this one a try. But first, let me uh, let me tell you guys some interesting Halloween facts. Since we're getting close to Halloween, I did a few Halloween facts the other day. Kind of left you guys hanging a little bit because I had some uh, charging issues. Uh, so let me give you guys a couple of them and that some interesting ones. Uh like, uh, the Irish brought about the jack-o'-lantern. I don't know if you guys know the story about how the jack-o'-lantern came about, but uh, an Irish man named Stingy Jack, Stingy Jack, he tricked the devil. Basically, what he did was, is if I remember the story right, he tricked the devil up a tree, and then he put some sort of Celtic symbol on the trunk of the tree that then wouldn't allow the devil to come down out of the tree. Uh, and uh, so, therefore, he tricked the devil. Well, because he tricked the devil, he wasn't allowed into heaven or hell, which I, I would think if you were able to trick the devil, you should be allowed in heaven, right? Uh, but anyway, <laughs> you're not allowed. Hey, he wasn't allowed in heaven or hell. So, he spent the rest of his days roaming earth in the dark with a lantern that he made out of a turnip. Uh, the original lantern, basically. They used turnips or potatoes in Ireland uh, back then. Hence the name Jacko Lantern, because his name was Jack. So that's how the Jacko Lantern came around. The other thing was, is the pumpkin version of the Jacko Lantern here in the United States really was started here in the United States. Because, like I said, over in England, or I'm sorry, over in Ireland, uh, it was a turnip. But here in the United States, we made the pumpkin popular. While the jack-o'-lantern started in Ireland, they used turnips, as I said, and potatoes. Uh, but it wasn't until it got popular in the United States that kids and parents began to use the pumpkin gourd. That's right, the pumpkin gourd. All right, and uh, I'm going to give you guys one more because that one went kind of quick here. So let me see if there's another cool one I can share with you guys. Uh, actually, I'll try to give you two of them. Candy corn was originally called chicken feed. I'm not a big fan of candy corn. I don't really know many people who are. But the Golitz family confectionery uh, company originally sold the treat in boxes with a rooster on the front to appeal to America's agricultural roots. Uh, the sugary recipe has gone largely unchanged uh, since the 1880s. Also, I didn't realize this, but if you stack candy corn up in a circle with the yellow part sticking out, it actually will look like a corn cob. Try that one while you're at home. I'd buy a bag of candy corn just to try it. <laughs> Why not? It's pretty cheap. All right, let me give you uh, one more from that one. And that is Keene, New Hampshire. Keene, New Hampshire. If any of you guys see this who's from Keene, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. K-E-E-N, Keene, New Hampshire. Holds the record for the most jack-o'-lanterns on display. In October of 2013, they broke the record with 30,581 lit jack-o'-lantern pumpkins displayed around town. 30,581 lit pumpkins in Keene, New Hampshire. How about that? That's pretty crazy. All right, let's give this kiss kiss a try, shall we? All right, here we go. Cheers. Pro Slauncha and Skull for my Nordic friends. You know who you are. Milk chocolate stout. What is that flavor? That is not what I was expecting. Did the milk chalk did the milk chocolate? I mean, they wouldn't really put milk chocolate in here, would they? Because it tastes like sour milk. When in the hell was this brewed? 
Wow, that's that's brewed a little while ago. Yeah, not a fan. Like, not a fan at all. Yeah, that that is no. I, I mean, honestly, it, it, it honestly it tastes like sour milk. Uh, it, and they obviously didn't brew it with milk. They would have had to put lactose in there. Yeah. Yeah, not a fan. Yeah, it just, it, it just, it, it honestly just tastes like sour chocolate milk. Mm -mm. No, not my gig. Uh-uh. That is, yeah, this is, this is probably, I hate to say this because this, this is the only beer I've ever had from Stillwater. I really hate to say this, but this is. This is probably the worst beer I've had on the show. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. I don't know. Has anybody else had one of these at all by any chance? Stillwater? I probably shouldn't even tag them in this, but this is uh yeah, this is not this is not what I expected at all. It's a double milk chocolate stout. I mean, you couldn't have really brewed it with milk. But it literally tastes like Yeah, no, I keep trying it just to hope maybe that something, hold on, let me, let me, <laughs> just in case, nope, that made it worse, oh, no, that's got to be a one, that is, that is like the worst beer I've had on the show, that is horrible, it literally tastes like spoiled chocolate milk yeah i i i really hate to give bad reviews but when it's bad i gotta call it it's bad that i'm i won't even be finishing that that just that is bad <laughs> wow wow i was not expecting that anyway thank god for my breakfast buzz or my brunch buzz that i have left because i'm gonna finish that one and watch the monday night game sorry this went so long man it would have been a lot shorter had this not been wow that is just Man, that is sad because that was an expensive beer. Wow. Anyway, sometimes you have really good ones and other times you just have really bad ones and there's no way around it. <laughs> wow. Anyway. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it for hanging out with me on Pie Time. And as always, peace, love, and let's continue to experience this beautiful world together. Whew. All right, guys. <laughs> peace. <laughs>